Hello everyone. Uh, today I decided to uh, go a little bit further in depth uh, with regard to the, the Galleon Kruger gear I have here. Not so much a, a review. I don't really do reviews. I do them online uh, in, in typewritten form, but uh, technically not uh, just an overview, I guess. But um, just wanted to let you know that uh, I have the GK1001 into a Gator case now. It's the GS2 uh, uh, space, I guess you'd call it. And um, so that's all ready to go. It's a, it's a shallow rack, but there's lots of room for your cords in the back, the power cord and the uh, actual speak on cord. And below it is the uh, 410 uh, Neo cabinet. And what I wanted to do today, most importantly, is uh, take off the grill and have a look at the uh, internals of the cabinet by putting out one of the 10 inch speakers. Uh, the cabinet is only 68 pounds but it's a, a phenomenal cabinet. It's got a beautiful sound, nice and tight. There's no uh, unwanted resonance or anything like that. And it's uh, mostly due to the speakers they're using. Uh, but also the bracing, the kind of bracing that they've done, the size of the cabinet, or what they call the Q of a cabinet. But the bracing, most importantly, is what uh, I think uh, makes this cabinet work for its size and its its weight. It's, it sounds like a uh, a much heavier cabinet. So anyway, there's two screws on either side that I can see. Two small screws on either side, left and right of this cabinet, that holds the grill in place. So I'm going to remove that now. Okay. Here we have uh, the grill removed, and as you can see, these tabs here, uh, they're actually heat weld it I guess and that's what the screws go into and uh, so there's there's the grill removed and now uh, now we're looking at the uh, the actual speakers the 410 speakers okay what I've done now is laid the uh, the actual cabinet down and uh, the first bit of bracing that uh, that I see here is here this is the actual uh, the venting on top and bottom of the cabinet but it's also uh, there's bracing in between here and it's very tight very well uh, put in there and it looks like it's been glued and stapled okay here is the uh, the cabinet just with just one of the speakers removed this year's speaker is uh, a 16 ohm because the cabinet is uh, it's overall 4 ohms so what they've done is they've used 16s to bring it down to 4. Had I ordered a 8 ohm cabinet, this would have been a 32 ohm speaker times 4. We'll now have a look at the uh, internal bracings and see how they separated each speaker uh, to cause it to uh, perform so, so well. Now we are looking at the, uh, the inside of the cabinet. And uh, you notice how the horn is situated right in the center. And we've got X bracing all the way through here. It goes uh, crisscross, and it, but it stops right at the the, the tweeter. And uh, they also did some bracing all the way back here, but then they left the opening for venting. So if you can see all that, I apologize if it's a bit too dark, but time will tell. And you can see a trace of blue here. It was more dry, but. The cabinet has been glued together, and uh, you can see these vent bracings that I that I pointed out earlier. So this is how they've isolated the cabinet, the speakers in the cabinet, I should say. And uh, it doesn't seem like a very complicated technology, but I would say because of the distance of this baffle going down here, this bracing, the size of this actual cabinet that holds the one speaker times four, of course. There's more bracing up here as you can see. It's double vented. <clears throat> so this is how they've done it. It's not, a, it's not a very complicated technology, but obviously they've, uh, in research and de in development, they, they managed to uh, really make this cabinet perform very well with this type of bracing. I just wanted to point out, uh, for my reference and for anybody else's reference, um, the kind of speaker this is. This is what they call a neodym or 
if I pronounce that properly, a neodymium speaker, and it's very, very light. I can actually grab the magnet here, magnet section. I'm not exactly sure, but I think the magnet may be made of aluminum, if that's possible. At least a frame. The frames are made of aluminum. Uh, for the amount of power that this can pump out, it's 200 watts. I'd rate it for 200 watts. It's incredibly small. Uh, not small, I should say, but light. <clears throat> and it does says Galleon Kruger here. GK Galleon Kruger. Uh, right here. Of course, we're reading it upside down here. But I just want to spin this here and zoom in. Just for your reference and for anybody else's reference, basically, what I'm doing now. Uh, the number here. <clears throat> on this unit, on this here uh, Galleon Kruger speaker, well it's not a Galleon Kruger, I suppose it is because it says uh, GK on the side of it, so yeah it is a Galleon Kruger speaker. And the number for this 16 ohm is 082-0460-B. I'll check and see if I can find any other reference on this speaker for now. There's, n there's no more reference on that speaker other than the Galleon Kruger uh, print on the side of the, sh the, the actual uh, metal part of the speaker. I believe I mentioned this in a, a previous video also when you're, when you're dealing with uh, cabinets such as these. When you're removing or putting in your screw, I just want to point this out because this is very important to, uh, to avoid speaker damage. Uh, you never want to be Put loose and fancy free right here in this area on screen because what could happen is that you could slip and you could actually rip your speaker. So when you're removing or putting in the screw, I usually keep my hand here and uh, so that it doesn't slip off and do damage your speaker. The speaker would probably still work, but who wants to damage a, a, a good working speaker? So that's a, just a little tip. Anyway, that's the Galleon Kruger uh, Neo cabinet. It's the uh, four ohm, the four ohm uh, cabinet, and uh, that's the first time I've ever seen the bracing. I've done some research online and couldn't find out what it was all about. So I said, "Well, the hell with it. I'll do a video, and that way, now everybody can see what uh, what they're talking about when they're talking about bracing." Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, please comment, and please like the video. Thank you and good day.